television shows are widely followed around the world, but one thing everyone is sure of is how at all times there isn't the truth. The American documentary reality show 90 Day Fiancé on TLC brings you the couples who are about to be married in 90 days. However, things take a nasty turn and people usually break up soon, making us realize it was nothing but a scam. Let us look at some of the couples who ended up breaking up in a short span. These are five 90 day fiance relationships that were complete scams. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Ashley and Jay Smith. It was love at first sight for the couple when Ashley was in Jamaica for her friend's wedding. They were both in touch when she left and six months later, despite the doubts, Ashley's friends warning her, they eventually got married in Las Vegas on April of 2018. Three days later, things took a nasty turn when Ashley found out her just husband had been cheating by using the dating app. Followed by a series of drama, on and off Ashley's decision to call it quits or to give the marriage a chance, she finally decided to file a divorce through Pennsylvania court confirmed by Inus. Number two, Danielle Mullins and Mohammed Jubilee. Appeared in season two of the show, this couple had everyone's eye since people doubted about them. They met each other in an online chat room and soon got engaged when Muhammad moved from Tunisia to Ohio. They had issues since day one, and it was evident since the couple hid almost everything with each other. 90 days after their marriage, everyone came to know Muhammad left Danielle for another woman. Well, we knew this all along. Muhammad had always lied about his job and financial status and made Danielle do all the expenses of the visa and the wedding too. However, he promised to return all of it back, but never did so. A clear case of green card benefit? Number three, Sean and Abby. The internet has a lot of benefits, but one thing we all know is we cannot trust everyone who has put themselves out until you meet them in real life. Now this couple, with an age difference of 20 years, met each other online on a dating site, but weren't quite sure of each other until they met in real life. However, when Sean flew to Haiti to meet his girlfriend, he was shocked to learn she was actually in terms of her ex-boyfriend. They usually ended up fighting for the same reason, and things didn't go well when he met her ex-boyfriend too. In all the chaos, Sean and Abby did manage to get engaged, but couldn't take it all the way, long towards the end of the show. Sean's social media suggests he is dating another girl now, but this time, someone of his age. Number four, Molly Hopkins and Luis Mendez. They met each other during their vacation in the Dominican Republic. The couple met each other during their vacation in the Dominican Republic, and the two got secretly married to each other. Things got difficult for them when they broke up and had reunions, and during the spin-off of the show, happily ever showcased some of the ugly truths of their marital life. Luis wasn't interested in fatherhood and couldn't get along with Molly's daughters. Six months later, after he packed up and left Molly when he filed for divorce, he claimed how he was emotionally and physically abused during the time that they were together. Once the divorce got finalized, Molly appeared on the show to update everyone how she has been doing, working on herself by losing weight and focusing on her children. She also mentioned how she feels being cheated because Louise got remarried. Now that's sad. With a lot of shocking age differences in Revelation, this one surely takes the limelight. Mark was 50 years old from Maryland and with four daughters older than the girl he was dating, while Nikki was just a 19-year-old teenager from the Philippines who met him through an online dating site. Things were going pretty smooth for the couple when Nikki moved from the Philippines to the US to live with him and got married too. However, it hit a rough patch due to some of the actions and statements by Mark. He not just made her one-sided prenuptial agreement, but also gifted her the same car he gifted his first wife. Besides this, he asked Nikki to wear his daughter's old clothes. Weird, isn't it? With a whole new drama every time and things turning ugly for some, this show is for sure a roller coaster of emotions excitement, and thrill for its contestants and viewers. If you are an ardent viewer, share some of your nail-biting moments or let us know from the ones we mentioned in the comments section down below. Well, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.